Is it us? Alright. Shout out to Allah. First and foremost, I want to say, call hello, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, Rafi, Yahweh Shah. Right, that's all present to the Most High. We do something that we're looking to God the Son. Gotta hold it close. Like this. Okay, right. come on, come on, come on. Right. Talk directly into the little microphone in the face. Come on, come on. All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, the Rock, Tawash, Rakah. That's all praises to the Most High. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, God. who the inhabitants of the earth ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Right. So another day, right, uh, to preach the gospel. Another day to prophesy, prophesy the downfall of this wicked society known as Babylon the Great. Right. And another day to preach the gospel to you so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. You are the sons and daughters of. Uh, Heavenly Father, right? uh, somebody, uh, Micah, uh, Micah chapter 7, uh, verse 2, sorry, Pick the mic. Yeah, that's up with that mic. So, so, uh, yeah, Malachi, uh, 3, 15. I got to say, trying to be mindful. Speak a little loud, but right into that voice. Right, right, you hear? Mic test, mic test. That's how you gotta talk. All right, con, con, right? So, uh, Micah 7 and verse 2, you give me uh, Malachi 3 and uh, 15, right? Uh, let's start off with this one. Read that. This is Micah chapter 7 and verse 2. Look it up. A, a good man is perished out of the earth. Right, so the uh, Heavenly Father, his, through his prophets, is saying that the good man is perished out of the earth. What did that mean, right? There ain't no man walking the earth doing good right now. Every man is against his neighbor. Every man is making is doing a come up and is trying to scheme on his brother, man. Every man, right, ain't doing good on the planet Earth. Read that over again. The good man is perished out of the earth. Read on. And there is none of upright men among men. Right, and there ain't no upright men. Right? Among men. And only the servants of the Heavenly Father are the ones who are put in that work, put in that that uh that coin and trying to uh and trying to uh ascertain and trying to gain, you know, um wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it's trying to be upright. But the majority of the men that's walking this earth, right, are doing unnecessary things, are doing things that are conducive to their community. Finish that out. They all lie in wait for blood. They all lie in what? They all lie in wait for blood. Hey. Yeah, this is sad. They all lie in wait for what? For blood. They all lie in wait for blood, right? What does that mean? You have brothers on, on corners, you know, selling poison to their, uh, their own people. Selling cigarettes, selling we right and selling all matter of drugs, right? Uh right. right. They all lie and wait for blood, right? And even on the concrete of, of this pavement that we're standing on, man, before we set up, man, there's blood. Oh, uh, dried up blood all over the place, man. So somebody got their the uh their head cracked on the on, on the side of the pavement, man. Right? That's so bring that over again from the top. The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among them. Hey brother, you believe in the Bible? Can I just have five minutes of your time to share you some this information? Right? Hey, I'll, uh, hey, uh, hold that. Uh, give me uh Jeremiah seven. Hold that, give me Jeremiah 7 and 27, man. Because we're out here for you, right? That's the core of the message. We out here for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The Israelites of the Bible, man. We out here right. being true to the marriage, man, right? We can give a damn about uh, today being Father's Day, man. Because what did the Lord tell us in, in, in the laws of God, man? Uh, You're supposed to honor your, your, your father and mother every day, man. And not just one specific day, right? So uh, finish that out. Read that. They all lie and wait for blood. Right, they lie and wait for blood. They trying to scheme. They trying to get up over their brother. They're trying to rob their brother, right? 
and uh, you see in the, in the news, man, what is that rapper uh, from Chicago that moved to LA, right? I, I forget his name, but he had went to um, to New York and went to a uh, pharmacy and he, and he got robbed by his own brothers, you know, to take his chain. And he got killed on, on, on CD camera, man, right? And they was lying and waiting for the, for the brother, man, to kill him and take his, uh, his, his possessions, man. Read on. They hunt every man and his brother with a neck. That's verse uh, three. Uh, keep reading. That they may do evil with both hands earnestly. That they do. That they may do what? Evil with both hands earnestly. Right, and they do evil with both hands earnestly. Whether it be, you know, them passing you a, a, a nickel sack of dime, you know, and then exchanging it with money with the other hand, man. They do evil with their hands, man. Read on. The prince asking, and the judge asking for a reward. Right. So, and even during the uh, the times of old, when we was in rulership in Israel, man, our judges, right, were getting blackmailed. You know, they was getting paid off uh, to give out judgment that the heavenly Father uh, wasn't dealing with, man. Right. Finish that out. And the great man. Uh, Salaki, and the great man, he uttered his mischievous desire, so they wrap it up. Right, and the great man, these rich people, man, they utter their mischievous desires, man. They utter about committing fornication, taking someone else's uh, wife. They utter about all the uh, drugs and, and intoxication and, and, and the uh, drinking and the liquor and the hard liquor, right? They think about all these stuff, man, and our people just eat it up, man, right? When is our people going to wake up and realize that we are at the end of this thing, man, and there's a judgment pending, you know, uh, uh, for our enemies, you know, it's a judgment pending for our people that continue to live in this lifestyle, man. So give me that Jeremiah 7 and uh, 27. Read out. Yeah, Jeremiah uh, 7 and 27. You drop that. Give me uh, Malachi, Malachi 3, uh, start at verse 15. Read that. This is Jeremiah 7 and 27. Bring it out! Therefore thou shalt speak all the words unto call unto them. Uh, read that over again, Ak. Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them. So we shall speak all the words of the Heavenly Father unto them, man. And that's what we're doing, man. When we come out here, when we come out of the words of the book and give you the words of the Heavenly uh, Father verbatim, not our own understanding, but the understanding that of the doctrine that was given to us by Hashem Yahushua, right? Read that over again, Ak. Right. Therefore, they should not speak all these words unto thee, but they will not hearken to thee. Right, they will not hearken to them, right? So the Heavenly Father already prophesied it that the large majority of our people wasn't going to listen to his, to his service, his prophets. They wasn't going to listen, you know, to, uh, to the Heavenly Father, man. And you are that generation. You know, walking to and fro the earth, man, not knowing who you are, calling yourself black, calling oh, yourself African American, no. calling yourself Hispanic, Mexican, Puerto Riches, man, it's calling yourself all these terms that the so called white man have conquered you and, and told you you are these things, man, right? You are these things that they told you you were. You are the sons of the living, in, uh, you are the sons of the living father, right? The, the living God. So uh, finish that out, read that. Thou shalt also call unto them. I got it, I got it. But they would not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, this is a nation that obey not the voice of the Lord. So we say unto them, this is a nation that do not obey the words of the heavenly father, man, read. Nor receive correction. Nor receive what? Correction. Nor receive what? Correction. And they don't want to receive correction, you know? Because this, because when we come out here and preach, we're giving you instruction. We're giving you wisdom. We're giving you the understanding of the scriptures, man. But the right. Heavenly Father said you won't, you won't go receive all uh, correction, man. Right? That's why only a remnant of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans who repent is going to come back to the Heavenly Father, you know, as the Israelites, man, only a remnant of you, man. Right? That's it on that. Finish that out. The truth is perish. The, the truth is what? Perish. 
the truth is perished from our people's mind, you know? Hey, sister, you believe in the Bible? Can I just ask five minutes of your time, no? Hey, brother, you believe in the Bible? Hey, brother, hey, king, right? Read that over again for, uh, from 27. Therefore, thou shalt not speak all these words upon thee, but they will not hearken unto thee. Thou shalt also, thou shalt also call unto thee, but they would not answer. But thou shalt say unto thee, This is a nation that obeyed not the voice of thy Lord thy God, nor receive correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouths. Truth is perished and the words of wisdom, the words of the Heavenly Father is perished out of our people's mouth. But all our people talk about right now is folly, you know, folly of madness and what the celebrities are doing. I mean, that's all our people care about, man. Money, yeah. drugs, and, 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 and women, you know? That's it on that. Uh, keep reading that. Cut off thy hair, O Jerusalem. Oh, that's it on that. That's it on that. Uh, you got Bring uh, it Malachi out. 3 and 15. Uh, read that. This is Malachi chapter 3 and verse 15. And now we call the proud happy. We call the what? We call, call the, the proud, proud happy. happy. We call the proud happy, man. And the Lord, give me a, a Proverbs uh, 6 and 16, man. The, the Lord, the Lord despised a proudful tongue, man, as he said, right? In, 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 the, in, uh, in the Old Testament, man. Read on. And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are they that what work? They that work, work wickedness, wickedness are set up. They that work wickedness are set up, man. Right, and so this is why the earth is polluted under the inhabitants, you know, of the so-called white man, man. This earth is polluted, man, right? And he set up other like-minded wickedness to rule over you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, right? That's right. That's, right. Why, the, that's why there's uh, black on black crime in the, in the communities, man, because he uh, strategically Put those guns into your uh, communities that you will fight over blocks that you don't even own, man. Right? So read that over again. They that work in that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. And our people tempt God every single day, man, and they don't even know it. Well, a lot of them realize that they tempt God, but they're not doing anything to uh, change. They're not doing anything to correct. That um that iniquity, you know, in our communities, bro. Right? Uh finish that out. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And we who feared the Lord, right, we spake often one to another, man. What did we say? And the Lord hearkened and heard it, and the book of the and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that uh, thought upon his name. Right, and we thought upon the uh, name of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushad, in, in the name of, of his only begotten son, right? right. So, uh, get, uh, drop that, give me uh, Ezekiel uh, 16 and 2, right? Uh, Proverbs 6 and 16. Yeah, 6 and 16, right? Uh, and, and so the Lord, he despises, uh, uh, he tells you in his book what he hates, man. And our people have a, a hard time realizing that the Lord God isn't just about all love, man. The Lord has emotions just like you, right? The Lord hates, man. The Lord is jealous, uh, gets jealous, man. These, the emotions that we have, we got from the Heavenly Father, man. But we have to learn how to control and where to direct, you know, our love and our hate from, man. Right? Read that. This is Proverbs 16 and oh, 6 and 16. These six days do the Lord hate ye. Seven are a banish of abomination unto he unto him. A proud look and a lion tongue. A proud what? A proud look and a lion tongue. And the Lord hates a proud look and an evil tongue, right? Hey sister, can I just have five minutes of your time? You believe in the Bible? Do you, do you know what the Heavenly Father, the God, the, the creator of heaven and earth, do you know what he calls you? Give me, uh, can I just have five minutes? Give me, uh, 2 Peter, 2 Peter, uh, 3, and, and 
first one. Let's start our first one. Hold that. We got rap, that bar, and stuff down there. We fast now. Deuteronomy 15 to 15, right? Because we just trying to jog up your memory. We just trying to get you to remember who you were, right? Before we were conquered as a people, right? So read that. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of. Oh, verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. So you're, you're, our people is very beloved, right? You, you are uh, very beloved of the Heavenly Father. Our people, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. In both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. We're trying to stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. We're trying to get you to remember, right, what happened in the past, man, so that what happened in the past won't repeat itself, right? You know what? hard week for everybody this week, man. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the Holy Amen. Prophet. We're trying to get you to be mindful of the of the prophecies, the words that were spoken before in the days of old, right? Read. And of the commandment of us, the brother, apostles man, of the Lord and Savior. Right. So uh, hold that. Give me Jude, Jude 1 and 15. You got to... All right, sister. You just know that you're an Israelite, right? You're an Israelite, right? So, uh, yeah, go back to Proverbs 16. Yeah, you got your one of you. Hey, brother, can I just have five minutes of your time? You believe in the Bible? Guess what? We got to go, baby. A lot of people don't have time for the heavenly father. Yeah, so yeah, I want that. Give me a uh, proverb. Call that proverbs. Give proverbs one. What is uh, one and seventeen, right? Yeah, yeah. Jude one and five. Jude one and five. Jude one and five. Brother. Hey brother. Hey brother. What's what's your nationality, brother? You ain't got no nationality, so. Excuse me. Yes, you're, you're, oh. what is your oh. father? What would your father call himself? You don't know. Uh, yeah, get that Jude 1 and 5. So we're trying to get you to remember. That's good, King. Brother, brother, we're just trying to get you to remember who you are and what the, what the Heavenly Father calls you. Get that Jude 1 and 5. This is Jude chapter 1 and verse 5. Slide it, slide it. Give me a I will therefore put you in remembrance Though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. So we try to get you to remember that you are a child of God. You are one of the 12 tribes of children of Israel. And the Lord destroyed the, Lord is the remnant can't of make this the thing. people can't make that this didn't believe. Up, right? So we don't want you to be a part of that number that the heavenly father is going to destroy if you don't believe, right? Uh, that's it on that. Now read that over again. That's all right, brother. It, it ain't that much time left, man. Right? Hey, it, drop that. Give me a... Uh, Give me Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55, and, uh, verse, I'm going to say 6, 55 and 6, right, uh, what you got over here? Yeah, yeah, get that, Deuteronomy 15, 15. This is Deuteronomy 15, Hey, brother with the, uh, with the dress, hey, brother with the dress, can I just have five minutes of your time? You believe the Bible? All right, brother, read that. It's Deuteronomy 15 and 15. No. And thou shalt remember. Yeah. I don't think you want to. And thou shalt God remember yeah. that waste a bond man everything. in the yeah. land of Egypt. And so we are to remember <laughs> that we that were dream, once bond men like and bond maids in the land of Egypt. Be before the Lord had God brought us out of that, that uh, low uh, condition, man. Right? And we are bond men and bond maids even to this very day, man. We have to serve our enemies in the bond of all things, you know. But our people are walking around here proud, man. They think in their mind that they aren't in captivity. They think in their mind that they aren't in slavery, you know. Uh, uh, finish that out. And the Lord thy God redeemed thee. Therefore, I command these things today. Right. And so that's why the Lord commanded us, uh, gave us a covenant gave us uh, instructions and statutes and commandments to follow, man. So, uh, you got that, Isaiah? Read that. Uh, verse 6. 
This is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Bring it out. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Right, and so this is the scripture for that brother, man. You got to seek the Lord while he may be found because when all hell is breaking loose and calamity is falling upon the sons of men on the earth, when you're not able to go to these various stores to buy food, you know, to, to buy um, all types of merchandise, that those days are coming to an end. Hey, brother, you believe the Bible? What's your nationality, brother? What, what's this God called? I got the physical food, come get the You don't know? If you care to find out what God calls you? Because you're a king walking the earth, man. It's time that we start acting like kings, right? Instead of being uh, servants, right? Uh, read, read that over again. Lord, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right. Call ye upon the Lord while he is near, man. This, this, this is that hour that we're living in, man. Right? Don't you read the news? Don't you know what's going on? in the world right now, good, wars good, good, and bro. rumors of wars, right? Don't you want to have the protection of the uh, of the Heavenly Father when, right. when, when those Bring missiles come over to this land? Because it will happen, right? The old missiles will come over here, man, and you don't want, you know, to be in a uh, bad situation, right, where you're hey. calling. Give me uh, Proverbs 1 to 16. And you got they damn, damn Edomite Pope. He just said his damn self, man. Stop prepping for World War III. Right, right. Uh, if he's saying it, he who they he who they hold in the highest regard, right? Uh -huh. So if he's saying this, even the president bowed down and respect the Pope. Uh -huh. Right? And his wisdom. So if he's telling them get ready for World War Three, what that's telling you? Hey, hey, so-called black man, man, it's time to gird up the loins, man. It's time to get smart. It's, that's it's, right. Man, because this folly is gonna come to an end, man. You ain't gonna uh, have enough time to even learn about the war while you know your brothers and your uh, while uh, brothers is is bringing it to your house trying to steal food from you to, to feed their own family, man. You ain't gonna have that much time left, right? So give me uh, Proverbs one uh, uh, verse uh, verse twenty. Verse 24. No, 23. Read 23. This is Proverbs 1 and 23. Bring it up. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Right. And so the Lord is trying to pour out his spirit. Put that thing on, man. No. You gotta put that thing on, man. To give you correction, man. Because you are very beloved of the Lord. Read. I will make thee know my word unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said enough at all my counsel. You have said what? No, at all my counsel. You have said at not all his counsel, man. Because the Lord put the, uh, the very man that you see before you here to give you all counsel, man. To give you correction, man. Right? We out here and you see us, man. Read. And were none of my reproof. And they were none of his reproof. They despised reproof. Read. But ye have set. But ye have set at no all my counsel and would not my reproof. I will. I will laugh at your calamity. So the Lord is going to laugh at their calamity. Read. I will mock when your fear comes. And he's going to mock you when your worst fear comes. Uh, right? Read. When your fear coming as a desolation, desolation, and you desolation coming as a whirlwind, when the stress and anguish come upon you. When your distress and anguish come upon you. Thou shalt they call upon me, but I will not answer. So y'all gonna call upon him in that day, and he's not gonna answer, he? They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. Y'all gonna seek the heavenly father in that day of calamity, but you ain't gonna find them, he? For they hated knowledge. They did what? For they hated knowledge. They did what? For they hated knowledge. They, they, had they hate knowledge, man. Hell. Right? Our people out here walking around simple, right? They say they got Read. A right here on, on 
and did not choose to fear the Lord. I oh, didn't choose to fear of the heavenly Father, man. What I have? Uh, Isaiah, yeah, read verse seven. It's Isaiah chapter fifty-five and verse seven. Let the wicked forsake his way. So you gotta forsake your ways, man. Right? It's bad to whore out your sister, man. It's bad. You know, to sell drugs to one another, man. It's bad, right, to make uh, the pursuit of making money the in all and be all of your life, man. Those things are bad, right, B? And the unrighteous man, his thoughts. So the unrighteous man got to uh, forsake his evil thoughts, man. You know? Stop thinking about... Uh, uh, Ill intentions, you know, against your brother trying to rob him, trying to steal from him, man. Trying to take his wife, his woman, right? You gotta stop thinking about those things, man. And, and these are, and, and show up, and these are some of the simple things that our our, 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 our people are doing, man. You know? And our sisters, man, they gotta uh, take off that masculine uh, uh, energy, that masculine, take off that masculine. Uh, you know, spirit Amen. upon them, man, and put on a more chastised, more chaste hey, spirit. Uh, Read. Yeah. And let him return sure. unto the Lord. And you gotta return unto the Lord, man. Like, the Lord repeats himself over and over and over again, man. Like, uh, when are you gonna get the message, Israel? When, when are you gonna uh, wake up and understand that, that you know, well, you are very precious to the Lord, and, 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 and we hate seeing you out here <laughs> being so destroyed, man. We hate that, right? Uh, it was, it was and and he will have mercy upon him. And, and the heavenly Father is going to have mercy hey, upon you. Give me uh, Ezekiel 16, verse 2. Ezekiel 16, verse 2. You can be um, give me Hosea uh, 13 and 9, man. Hosea, uh, Hosea 13 and 9. And, uh, I want to uh, start off with that one, man, because our people are destroyed out here, man, right? And we've done this to ourselves, man. Like, the Lord sent the so-called white man after us, man. The Lord sent, you know, our enemies uh, against us, man, to get the message, man, right? The Lord did all these things to us, man. You got that Hosea, Hosea 13 and 9. I want to get that. Yeah, yeah, uh, get that. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And the Lord is, is willing to abundantly pardon all of our offenses, man. And that's what we are hoping for up here, man. We've done dirt in, in the world, man. We've done all manner of evil, right? And so, uh, through the grace of Yahweh Shikyao Shai, he's ready to abundantly part, you know, our transgressions, man. Hey, brothers, y'all believe in the Bible? But I just have five minutes of your time. You, you don't believe in the Son of God, man? Hey, he's gonna be destroyed, man. That's, it's just as simple as that, man. You got that? Hosea 13, Hosea 13 and 9. Hey, brothers, y'all believe in the Bible, guys. It's time. Y'all know y'all biblical nationality? Y'all care to know? Hey, brother, you care to know what your biblical nationality is and what God call you? Man, don't just ignore it, man. Hey, hey, uh, read that. Don't worry, I'll get it. This is Hosea, chapter 13 and verse 9. Oh, Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself. Oh, Israel, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, the Native Americans, man. You destroyed yourselves, man. Right? You let these hoodlums on these street corners destroy you even more. You know? Read. But in me is thy help. So in the heavenly Father, who his son Christ is your help. We like and and we need divine intervention. We need help from God to get us out of this predicament that we're in, man. Because no, no man can help us out of this place, man. No one else but God can help us out of this place. No one but God can judge these evil men that's walking to and fro the earth, you know, selling this poison, man. Only God can help us with that, right? Oh, um, that's it on that. Give me Isaiah 1, Isaiah 1 and 18. You got that? This is Ezekiel chapter 2, uh, chapter 16 and verse 2. Son of man calls Jerusalem to know. Hold on, Slack, hey, brother. Brother with the dress, is that the same brother that walked by? Now nah, he put on his hood. That wasn't him. Oh, slock you. Hey, sister, you believe in the Bible? Do, do you? You, you a Muslim? Yeah, we read the Bible. Can you repeat that? Yeah, you speak to me. 
Give me. Oh. Bring it out, King. Bring it out. Yeah, bring yeah, bring that out, bro. Got the scriptures. Bring out the scriptures. Yeah, Isaiah 118. Isaiah 118. Yeah, uh, get that up. I like This is my birds. Oh yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. Bring it out! A foolish woman is clamorous. A foolish what? A foolish woman is clamorous. A foolish woman is clamorous, man. You know, she she was if we was in the uh, Middle East, man, she wouldn't be coming before the men, speaking right. all these things, man. They'll they quickly pull off her head, man. They'll quickly stole this woman, man. But here in America, when she could just dial 911, that's all all the protection, that's all the uh, power that she needs to stand before the men of the Lord and speak like this, man. Right. Read. A foolish woman is clamorous. Right. You know what that means? That, that means, means my a soul, my body, and my life. All right. You heard that? It says a foolish woman. Hold, shut up. All right. I'm gonna just be honest. All right. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple. She is what? She is simple. She is what? She is simple. She is what? She is simple. And knowing nothing. Simple just means dumb. She's dumb and she don't know nothing, right? Read on. For she sitteth at the door of her house on the seat of the high places of the city to call to the passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. And as for him that wanted understanding, she said unto him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. Right, so you got a precept. Give me, uh, you got a flyer. You got that Isaiah 1 and 18? Yeah, read that. Bring it out. This is Isaiah 1 and verse 18. Hey, listen to this, sister. Listen to this. Come down and let us reason together. You hear that? Read that over again. Come now, come now, and let us reason together. And let us reason together, man. Right? Because all we out here doing is trying to give you this information, man, and to give you correction in the ways of the heavenly father. Right? Read that over again. Come now, and let us reason together. So as the Lord, do you, do your sins be as scarlet? They shall be white as snow. No, we. So you be filthy out here in the eyes of the Lord, right? Read that over again. Say the Lord, for your sins shall be a silent. They shall be white as snow. Lord be a scarlet, right? Lord be red and bloody. It shall be white as snow, meaning you shall be pure, man, if you repent, right? So let me ask you again, man, what is your nationality? Y'all yeah, freeze up. Give me, uh, hold, hold that. Uh, uh, give me, uh, Jeremiah 5. Yeah, Jer Jeremiah 5 and, and 29, right? Jeremiah 5 and 29. Hey, now, right. and this brother and, looking and, uh, like so old, man. Right, she went. No, if he looked like Pastor Porta, he had that same. Jeremiah 5 and, and uh, no, you start at 23, right? Precept. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give sacrifice of food. Right, you hear what they said? When you go to the house of God, be more ready to hear what the Lord is saying than to give the sacrifice of food. Hey, give me. Give me Wisdom of Solomon. Oh. It's wisdom of Solomon 3. 3 and verse, 3 and verse 9. All right, you got that over here? Jeremiah 5. And, uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 9. With, yeah, 22. This is Jeremiah 5 and 22. Fear ye not me, sighted the Lord. Read that over again. Fear ye not me. Sorry, the Lord. Do you fear God? Sister, do you fear God? Read that over again. Fear ye not me. Sorry, the Lord. You don't fear God. If you fear God, you will be up here speaking, spewing this madness, man. Read. 
Will ye not trouble at my presence? Will ye not trouble at the presence of the Heavenly Father? Right? He which have placed the sand, uh, which have placed the sand for bow of the sea by perimeter the sea. That it cannot pass it. And through the waves, therefore, toss themselves, yet cannot prevail. Uh, go to verse 21, read that. Hear not this, O foolish people. And without understanding. Hear not this, O foolish people. And without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and, ha and hear not. Right. So the Lord is, is describing you, man. You have eyes, but you can't see. But you have ears, but you don't want to hear. Right? You're so busy spewing whatever comes out of your own head, man. Right? So, so uh, finish that up. Finish that up. Hear not this, O foolish people, without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not, fear ye not me, sight the Lord. You don't fear God, man. That's why she, before the, the prophets of the heavenly Father, man, be on this mountain. Right, read. Will ye not trouble at my presence? Which have placed the sand in the bell of the sea by perpetual sea God. that it cannot pass it, and through the waves therefore toast right. itself, the that it they will not prevail. He read it. But these no people have resolved these people, it in their really? relish. This is not my side. I gotta touch you. Fuck you. But these people have a revolted and rebellious heart. They are not resolved and gone. So they're gone. Their minds are just completely gone, man. And that's what we're reading out here, right? Read that over again. But these people have a resulted and rebellious heart. But they're resolved and gone. From last night. They got they got keep coming. Yeah, you got peace up. Same thing, same thing, thing that demon was saying last night. Bro. That just let that just let y'all know y'all doing the work, bro. They gonna keep coming. But what they fail to realize is they ain't coming up against y'all. They coming up against them. The Lord said they ain't got no issues. They ain't got no issues with y'all. They issues with him. With him. Cause we speaking his word, not our own word. So does say the Lord does say the Lord. Go Lord ass. Tell me how it's gonna work out. Right. This gonna be my last precept. That's why we stay in the spirit. Let them. Right. Just get the blood off your hand. Bring it out. This is Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 2. Son of man, calls Jerusalem to know her abomination. Right, so that's what we out here doing, man. We're trying to cause you to understand your abominations, man, and how you offended the Heavenly Father. But our people don't have ears to hear nor eyes to hear, right? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, 28. Our people are destroyed out here. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Our people are destroyed out here. Read that. Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abomination. And say, thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem, thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite. And thy mother is dead. Go to verse 6. No, yeah. Yes, yeah, And when, verse 6, and when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood. And it, when the Lord passed by us and saw us polluted in our own blood, he, and said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, live. Told us to what? Live. Yeah. See, so man, that's what we out here trying to tell you to do is to live. Because this lifestyle you're living right now is destructive. It's destructive to your soul, man. So live. Read. If you don't want to hear, why you just don't move around? Just, 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 deep, just, just deep. Read on. If you don't want to hear, why you just don't move around? Don't you got a house to go to? Live ye, yea, I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, live. When we was in our blood, the Lord even told us to repeat it and live. Right? But our people don't want to hearken to the Lord. Father, right? So, uh, give me Deuteronomy 28, 28, you got that? Deuteronomy 28, 28. 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 Deuteron
Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't bring your man yeah, out here and roast your body. By your words, you will justify. By your words, you have me condemned. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. The Lord is smitten this woman with blindness and madness. Madness meaning little illness, right? Being. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind broken in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. And thou shalt not what? Prosper in thy way. And thou shalt not what? And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. She ain't gonna prosper her way. That's why she's over here, like screaming and yelling at the men of the heavenly father and the men of the Lord. Right? So with that, I want to say, oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Pass it on to this week. I'm going to praise you. How about you know what's up? A2I, Chicago, Illinois. Quick Unity Camp with your brother, L.O.J. Shout out to you. How about you know what's up? Look at 1 Corinthians 14, verse 40. 12 and 26. And now y'all look at uh, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 28. Right? We're going to show you all things through the Spirit of How about you know what's up? Everything we got to do is in decency and in order. Right? So check this out, King. What's your name, King? What's your name? Iroh. Iroh? Iro, let's see how to work. Let's see how to Ivo, Ivo, Ivo. Let's see how to work the Lord works. The words of God. Let's get first commission. Bring it to God. Bring it to God, This is Matthew chapter twelve and verse twenty-six. Everybody, everybody, everybody. All right. And if Satan cast out Satan, verse thirty-six. That's right. But I say unto you. That every idle word, every idle word, read on. That men shall speak, that this woman has spoken, read on. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So in the day of judgment, you cursing us out right now. Your words, you gonna have to eat it in the day of judgment. Read what you got, all right? That's right. First Corinthians fourteen and forty. This is Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28. He that hath no rule over his own spirit. So the Lord said, He that hath no rule over his own spirit. Read on. It's like a city that is broken down and without walls. So what happens is these scoffers come up in front of us and they curse us out. But in the meantime, we're supposed to be soldiers of the most high God. So what we gotta have is patience and discipline on how to deal with these scoffers. You hear that, King? Let me get Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. So we got to have patience. Let me get 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 40. So the way to deal with a scoffer is not physical. This is a spiritual war. Right? So if this woman were to see white men, she would have never disrespect us like this. But she coming at us because we so-called black men. She looking at us and guess what? Father's Day is tomorrow. So the black women don't care about Father's Day. The black women only care about Mother's Day. The black woman don't got no respect for the so-called black man, Native or Seminole Indian in America, so she see us out here teaching the words of God, and now she think we her kids. Now she think we her sons. Now she think we her little boys. We a grown ass freaking men. Respect your damn mouth, and respect the words of God. Bring it up. This First Corinthians chapter 13. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40. Bring it out. And it reads. My flag is white. Let all things. Let all things. We don't. Be done decently. Be done what? Be done decently. Well, you can kick around the sun. Be done decently. You can drop all your damn water bottles on the sun. Be done decently. And guess what? This is not even our sons. This is the brother's sons. But as long as the brother's here with us, this is our brother. See that? You don't gotta step on our signs, you step on the brother's sign. This is our brother. Let me get Leviticus 13 and verse 30. This is all with the so-called black man, uh, so-called black woman. Ain't got no respect. We out here trying to use composure, discipline, trying to build with you, trying to reason with you, and you still cursing us out. You have no respect for the words of God. But you're gonna get this work. Bring it out. This is Leviticus. Hey, now, ultimately, if you don't want to hear it and don't like it, get then, the then fuck just off. keep it moving, man. That's right. Keep it moving. That's why the Lord sent somebody else to get out of hell up out of here, man. That's right. And let's see why she destroyed. Bring it out. Leviticus 13 and verse 30, man. This is Leviticus 13 and 30. Bring it out. 
Did that? Did the priest shall see the blood? And that's the problem. We are the priests of God. That's right. Give us some damn respect. This ain't no okay. game. We ain't no niggas or no thugs or no gangsters or killers or drug dealers. We are the holy priests of the Most High God. That's right. Whether y'all like it or accept it, understand it, believe it or not. Like the President D said, law of God. Give us some damn respect, man. That's right. This ain't easy for us to come out here. Put our life on the line for y'all on a damn Saturday with this good ass weather. But we still trying to teach y'all the truth, man. So give us some respect. At least, man. Jeez. Behold it. <laughs> Behold if it be in deeper sight than thy skin. And thy skin, we don't. And there it be in a yellow dyed hair. In a, in a what? A yellow dyed hair. It says a yellow thin hair. Brother man, what color was her hair? Say it, King. Nah, it's not even funny. This is the words of God. It's the truth. It's the laws. What color was her hair, King? It was yellow, right? Read it again. And there it be in a yellow thin hair that the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So what the law said, the priest shall do what? Pronounce him unclean. So whether our woman like it or not, and you see, the Lord God ain't messing around. This is a real church right here. You gotta open up your spiritual eyes and see what's happening around us right now, man. That's right. That's why we told the people, let me get Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. They don't know what they're dealing with. Our people's looking at us carnally. Listen, this is the spiritual words of God. And look, another one. See that? So in the eyes of God, read it again, King. And they pronounce, <laughs> and there be a light thin hair that the priest shall not pronounce it unclean. Pronounce it what? Unclean. Unclean. So since their vessels is unclean, guess what happens? Uh, Danielle, let me get with some of Solomon 1 and 4. We're trying to heal the people with the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. The words of God. Give me what you got, King. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 1. We get no respect, man. Father's Day is tomorrow. We're not even supposed to be keeping Father's Day. Okay, that's wicked. That's right. We're not supposed to be keeping